Welcome back to the channel. Just want to go over this footing that we're setting up here. They want a two foot eight wide footing, 12 inches deep with a one foot three inch toe. <laughs> So here's our footing, it's all set up. We're ready for inspection. I just wanna go over certain things that you're like looking for when you're digging a footing. Number one, they want it two foot eight wide, plenty. It's, it's a little bigger on the top. That's because of this granite type dirt, it just breaks away, okay? This is front of block. So they want a, a one foot three toe which means from front of block to front of footing, that's the toe of your footing, is one foot three. So we got all our verts, they're two foot on center, laid out for block work, which means where the wall ends, you come in four inches, so it's in the middle of that first cell, and then you roll down two feet, okay? You'll see these people, they'll like string up all this wood and do all this crazy, you know building to hold the steel up for the inspector we do what is called we build teepees perfect holds them up like for the inspector as we pour we'll we'll clip and spread all the way down we got nice nice square corners this line i have set up is top of my first block because i like to wet set my first course so you'll see that in the other video on how to wet set it makes for a monolithic structure boom tight i love it so i'm going to come over here and go over something with you you know a lot of people don't know these simple tools but this is a pre-tie right here for tie and rebar this is a yankee or whirly bird this is how you tie your rebar like this you bring this around the the rebar you crank it, you gotta feel that tension. You don't wanna snap it, and then bend it. So there it is, man. This is a, a full engineered footing set up for inspection. Thanks for coming by the channel. Check out our other video. You can see us pouring the footing and wet setting.